Hello friends, welcome to another video. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Jenna Templeton and I love sharing videos on pen paling and journaling and lots of crafty creative things. I'm really excited to share with this. Firstly, I've got mail. So I'm like so excited. Uh, my lovely friend Brittany McCohen kindly sent me her first my stationery subscription box i can't tell you how excited i am i'm so i'm um, happy for her so this box is lovingly created by Brittany mccohen and arumi from pick your mix shop so they have collaborated on this new subscription stationery service and where they'll be making different themed sub subscription boxes each month filled with lots of goodies like stationery stickers and washi tape and surprises I'm sure this is an Aussie based um, made subscription box meaning um, it was, was really excited to know that there was another Australian creators that are offering a subscription box um, which obviously will probably sell um, Obviously, they're probably sending internationally as well, of course. Check their website for details. I'll leave all the details in the description box below. But I was just excited being an Aussie. Like, if you were going to get a subscription box that was Australian-based, it will be less postage for us for once. Yay! So I'm just really excited that there is a subscription-based service available for Australians um, who normally have to spend lots of money um, to get boxes sent. I'm also really excited, just really quickly before I jump in, um, that this is probably my first um, actually unboxing of an actual box style subscription box so I'm like so excited I've always wanted to try um, some subscription boxes but I've just never been able to afford them probably because of the postage when they're normally located overseas so I'm really excited to open these I've had like sticker subscriptions in mailers before but um, this is so exciting. Um, first, let's jump right in. I'll just get to it because I'm just so excited. And I just want to say again how honored I am that um, Brittany thought of me to share this box with you guys. Um, so this one is the Kawaii themed stationery subscription box. So we'll, we'll look at the goodies in a second. Um, this box, the Kawaii box, is available until July 31st. So if you want to get this one, then um, you'll have to purchase it before July 31st, 2021. We're in. Um, I was squealed. Um, so there are going to be some tote bags as a bonus um, but there's only a few left so it's going to be free gifts so that's another incentive I guess to pop over as quick as you can to get this subscription box because you might be lucky to score a tote bag. There's also a free bonus key ring. I'll leave again the details in the description box below on how you can get that free bonus key ring and you can get 5% off using this code and feel free to let Brittany and the My Stationery subscription team know that you've seen this video and you've gone over to support their shop. Thanks guys for watching. Let's dive right in. I'll show you all the goodies inside. So first I squealed because she sent me the bag, the tote bag that I saw on her Instagram and I'm just so thankful. Oh my god, I love it so much. And she's put a little card in here. So let's open the little bag, toady bag. That's a cute little card. Oh, there's a really faint design on here as well. That's going straight to the journal. So here is a tote. Oh my God, it's so cute. And I'm assuming it's definitely Brittany herself and a roomie. So look how beautiful it is. It's got a little mail and it says, you've got mail is actually um, of that wording because you've got mail is one of my favorite movies. Um, of all time um, but so cute and look I just noticed <gasps> at the back there's a little happy mail yay now I go for walks to my PO box um, so I'll be able to take this along and put my outgoing mail in and hopefully if I'm lucky I could receive some PO box mail um, and I can carry it home in this um, but stick around for the end towards the end of the video because um, 
I saw this and I just got super excited. I've got a little DIY coming up and I hope um, this is a beautiful bag in itself, but I just got so excited. I wanted to add my own flair to the bag. If you want to get see a crafty DIY, stay to the end of the video. Okay, let's open the stationery. Here is the gorgeous box and it says, yay, your stationery has arrived. And I have to say this box is a gift in itself. I love the packaging, um, this beautiful kind of pastel-y pink color with obviously all the cute little stationery designs and illustrations on here. So gorgeous. Let's open it up. And I love that I'll be able to reuse this little box to house some little goodies. Oh, it's just everything so cute. Thank you for supporting our small business. Oh, I totally get that. Um, I know how a biggest, the big smile that you can get by um, being supported um, and having our own small business, creating something and then someone buying that. And I love how they've stuck the artist on the back. So the great thing about this box is not only is it put together by creators, a Rumi from the Pick and Mix shop and also Brittany McCohen, of course, you probably know her YouTube channel, um, but it's also, she, they also collaborate with other art artists. So here are the artists they've collaborated with for this particular Kawi themed pack. So we've got the lovely cute illustrator, um, illustration designed by Audrey Akea. So that's all her details here. I actually wrote it on a little note on the side, but I love how this little postcard came and I love this added extra with the details of the creators and the other illustrator is Marina and um, she has a little Instagram too and you're probably familiar with a lot of her work that features um, on Britney's wonderful sticker sets and postcards so delicately open this up I might even I'm going to be a little bit cheeky and slip it out because I want this sticker for my journal that's happening Oh my god, everything is just so cute. Oh, I love how you can get the washi tape with your, your stickers on there. Um, Because I'm a small business owner, I'm just like, oh wow, I wonder where this was kind of made because I would love to do my own stationery. Um, but I've, my, I would love station, uh, I'd love to have washi tape, but I've always wanted to get someone who could do the stickers on the front and I just love that extra detail because that's like something that obviously you can put in your journal when you're unpacking in the washi tape which I'll, I will do um so like I got my journal here so okay I'll just pick up the washi tape straight away because you guys know I'm washi tape obsessed but I think I'll leave that to the end let's have a look um hopefully I can get all the illustrators correct um oh they've got their names on there okay cool um so first I love how there's like a little Japanese Udon eating cat, like a vinyl sticker. It's actually lovely, it's like textured. Oh, oh my god, yeah, you guys know I love Kawi. Um, oh, there's a key ring in here. Oh, I wasn't expecting that at all. Oh my god, what a surprise! Oh, acrylic key ring. Oh my god, it's so cute. Some more vinyl stickers. Um, mail, yes. And there's this sticker, definitely by Audrey. I love this one as well. So nice. The, the hard thing for me is using the vinyl stickers. Um, but I have a little hack that I do. I put them in my journal where I attach washi tape on the back and stick it in. So if you change your mind and you want to use it for something else, you can pull it out and use it. <laughs> and I love this little cute little hedgehog in the bath so sweet and um, definitely that's done by I think Rumi from pick a mix shop and oh my god the sticker sheets <gasps> there's so much in here oh wow okay <laughs> I love this it's like lots of it's got a really um, big nostalgia kawaii feel which I love nostalgia um, Tamagotchi and they have nice, oh, they're so nice quality, the stickers, and they're nice and smooth. Where do people get their sticker sheets printed? 
Um, there's just so much decision online, it's so hard to know the right choice, but I really love the quality of these ones. I've been researching so many suppliers, but then I just get so nervous. Oh, this is so cute. Obviously the Japanese feel, this is all right up my alley. So this one I know is done by Marina. And then we've got another pick and mix sticker set. You could use this for like if you're doing like some journal spread or maybe your nighttime routine, a beauty routine, um, your favorite things to do while relaxing, which is these things. <laughs> um, and if you could do a special picnic spread. And there's postcards, wow, this is like so, you get a bit of everything. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, it's like a huge pile here. Look at this stack. A stack, like a thick stack of postcards. Oh my god, okay. This is really cool. Um, so we've got the little toast. So we've got little Brittany and a Mimi on the back. <laughs> so sweet. Love those little extra design details. These postcards feel really lovely and glossy as well. This is like me, like ultimate good afternoon. <laughs> Cup of tea, some journaling, some reading. Normally there's like a jammy dodgy biscuit over here. <laughs> Bath time. I'll give some of these to some pen pals and send them to some pen pals. And also we're in lockdown now, so this was like made me go, oh, and I can probably pop this in the letter. So my dad just got back from hospital and it's really hard. I haven't been to see him and we're in lockdown, so we're not allowed to go visit family from different households. But it would be nice to put something like this in his letter box to cheer him up. Oh, wow, I would love this nostalgia. Look at the little details here, so sweet. All you need is stationery. I should hand this one up on my wall. Yes, that's all you need. And pen pals. <laughs> um, okay, so let's open these up. And the washi tapes are there. I'm like just eyeballing the washi tapes. Oh, so you even get like little memo, are they memo sheets? Oh, how clever. They stuck a little mail tag in there. What's your favorite movie? What's your favorite food? If you could live anywhere, where would it be? Japan. <laughs> What's your favorite holiday destination? Japan. <laughs> Book or movie recommendations? Oh, so many. I love to read um, historical romances at the moment. Memo papers. I love how they're like curved as well, which is really unique. I'm so grateful. So you got the cute, yeah, oh, I think this is one of my favorite stickers too. So I'm glad this is on the little letter set. Um, and then you get like a handful. So you get a couple of envelopes and a handful of letter paper. And then you've also got another design, the little cute bear. Dun, dun, dun. It's washi tape time. <laughs> Jenna's excited. So I've got these Wes Anderson date stickers in my journal that I've designed and illustrated in my journal this month and they are available from my Etsy store and a note please support small businesses because you do make a difference to people's lives straight away. So let's dive in and check out these washi tapes. First we've got that cute little Japanese cat. And we've got the little hedgehog in the bath. Oh my god, are you guys like really excited you have your own washi tape? Oh, ever since washi tape was made, I was like, I've always wanted to design my own washi tape. You must be so excited. How cool are these? And then we've got the male one. Of all these washi tapes, but the male one has to be my favorite. Pretty in pink, cute male things. And I think they're having a male themed for the next subscription box. 
So that will be the following month. So check out um, Brittany's Instagram account and also the My Stationery Collection Instagram account for more info and updates. I'm going to try some of these in my journal real quick. Stay tuned to see how I'm going to DIY this little tote bag. to use some of this other stationery in my journal super cute I absolutely adore and love everything thank you so much again Brittany for sending this to me you have a lovely mail subscription pack and it's this is a wonderful my stationery subscription pack and you guys should be so proud I'm back for some crafty creative time. I hope Brittany doesn't mind, but I got so excited about the tote bag and it was looking at me and it was like, color me in Jenna, color me in. So I'm going to try and be really brave and paint on this tote. Um, I haven't done fabric painting in such a long time. So this is gonna be fun and I hope I can get all the colors right and I don't stuff up the wonderful design on here um, but I'm gonna try and be brave and I'm just really inspired to get creating to yeah personalize this little tote so what I've and I'll show you what I'm using but I mean I'm just grabbed what I actually have at home I, I haven't specifically gone out and bought anything extra because I want to use what I own so I had these Martha Stewart paints who have actually had for years like years so I'm hoping they still work so I wasn't sure if I'd be able to use them because obviously it's best to use like things like fabric paint but it says on the back that I can use these on fabrics um so yeah just check on your paints to see most paints do I think like well what I mean not most so some paints work some acrylics work but you just need to check because they could come out in the wash um, also, something I forget to buy is white paint versions of the paint I have. So I don't really have a white to mix, but I'm going to try this acrylic one. I don't think this should be used really for fabric painting, I don't think, even though it does mention being careful with it. To, um, maybe it's, oh, it just says be careful not to stain clothes with it. So if you can stain clothes with it, then maybe it will stay on there. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I do have this textile printing ink. I don't know if I use this one but I really love this actual it looks like really over the top neon but it looks really lovely on this type of tote canvas. Um, I've used this a lot in the past in projects uh, and I also have just my which these would be really handy um, Posca pens and these special paint pens sure you guys seen these everywhere on YouTube. Um, I use a lot of these for my mail creations and different things, but they are like a fabric paint. The good thing about the Poscas is that, depending on the size actually you got, because there's different nibs, there's like thicker nibs and then the nibs change depending on which one you've got. Um, so it might be easier to like add fine details with them. So I've just got them. Um, you probably could just do the whole thing with Posca pens if you had them. But I'm going to just, I just want to play with my paints because I haven't used them in a while. I haven't painted in so long, like by hand. Like I do painting on my digital iPad, but not by hand in a while. And then I've just got some water in a funky 80s mug. I can't really tip this too much. And I've got my colourful palette here. I've also got just you can use cardboard or anything but I've just got this small cutting mat I'm going to stick inside the bag you're probably thinking oh because yeah, you can use that to like rest on but I'm mainly using it not saying that the fabric paints will run through but just in case the paint went through to the other side so I'll move that about as I use that and that's perfect it goes in there so let's get painting and I'm going to put some music on and I guys hope you enjoy this DIY. Brittany I hope you and Arumi like this little DIY. 
Okay, let's get crafting. Okay. Oscars might be a bit easier. So I've just got a finer brush and I kind of went over near that the lines if you have like little chucks available if you go over the line you could probably wash it off so I'm gonna go get one of them um, really happy how it's turning out the fabric paint I feel looks a bit um, it's got like a texture because on like this textured tote so I want to try the Posca pen because I think it might have a smoother feel and I'll probably put that on her shirt. I left kind of spacing kind of near the line as to not ruin that but it's looking okay um, so I hope this works out. I, obviously I'd love to do more darker shades and that for the hair and that but I don't have um, all the right equipment so I'm using just what I have but I'm liking how it's turning out so far. Probably like to use the pastel pink one. I just hope this doesn't run out. Because Poscas for me seem to just run out all the time. Okay. So this one's got a finer point, and I have to say, I think I like the Poscas better. They're they're easier. challenge is going to be doing her hair because I don't have any brown paint I'm going to make it brunette like my hair um, so I'm going to try and mix some colors together and try to get a nice brown okay so I was able to make a brown using a lavender blue orange and the yellow I used here so let's just see oh my god oh it actually looks natural <laughs> okay See what you can do if you just experiment with what you have. <laughs> Without realizing, I think I've kind of done the colors 
on the little washi tape sticker set um, and I know that was her her neck like that's meant to be a skin but I just made it I felt it worked because I'm not doing the face I'm not painting the face I thought it worked better to cover that bit in on this particular on Brittany's little dress because it looked like it was part of a shirt under overalls this has been fun and nerve-wracking at the same time I just really wanted to you know, just have fun and it's really nice to do arts and crafts using your hands because I do a lot of digital design now um, apart from like pen paling and journaling I do a lot of digital painting and things so this is really kind of nice to yeah pull out the paints and get creating I'm like it's telling me like add polka dots here Jenna add polka dots but because <laughs> you know I love polka dots um or like do neon pink polka dots everywhere or something Not to be basic, but I am going to dive in and just do the red for the heart to get just some more colours in here. Oh, these Posca pans, I tell you, are really easy to use. Not an ad, but if Posca want to sponsor me, get in touch. Something. Now I need to put something on their cheeks, so I think I'm going to mix some pink and white to make a pastel. So it does help to have some fabric paints because you can control um, the a paint like the brightness of your colours. Like if you want to tone down to like a really pastely pink for cheeks, you can mix white and pink together. Must add cheek detail. do the polka dots because I just I just I decorate my mail I got to decorate the mail here it's only fair good decision Jenna good decision so you can even hear my little pet canary now singing because he knows I'm happy drawing polka dots was really fun um Brittany didn't know I was going to do this um so I hope this little DIY is a nice surprise for her too she's watching and um yeah hopefully if you do sign up to the my stationary subscription box you might be lucky to get one of these totes and you can do your own little DIY to the tote bag and go challenge accepted oh, I love it the polka dots add so much that's so cool and I actually like how I left their faces as well oh yay okay I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna add a little um, pom pom to this. Here are some pom poms that I've actually made. I these I made for another crafty project a while ago, and I just pulled them out of my craft box. Um, this is probably a bit too overcolored for this, but this pom pom actually works really well because it draws the colors out on a roomies, or that could be me, um, little dress. And I think that will do that nicely. I don't have any fancy little key chains on me at the moment. So I'm just using what I have. So I'm just going to basically, when I make my pom-poms, and let me know if you want to see how I make these. Um, 
a lot of people make their own pom-poms. So I don't know if it's something you want to see a video on, but um, I've always used to make these all the time. So basically I just have the extra bit of wool after I've made it, I save that, and then I can use that to tie that onto something. So in this case, I'll tie it on to the little bag, just on one of the handles. And there we go. So that's the finished little tote. Oh, it's my hair ever turned out. Such a cute kawaii pack, and I look forward to using everything in it. Thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. Um, I also just want to say feel free to check out. Um, Brittany has an amazing blog that um, she shares lots of, as well as her YouTube channel, of course, where she shares lots of pen pal ideas. I was also so thankful that she included me in her pen pal list, which she has on her website that includes um, other pen pal creators and makers that like to either make and create pen pal and also like to share it on YouTube as well. And also I think you can find some pen pals on that list too if you guys are after some pen pals too. So thank you so much for yeah making me yeah feel special and sending this to me to share with my little community here. I'm so grateful. Um, yeah, feel free to subscribe and like this video. My channel hasn't been growing that well, so I'd like to see it grow a little bit more. So yeah, let's see if we can get to that 3000 mark. Yeah, feel free to that like and that subscribe button really helps um, to help my little channel grow. And don't forget guys, support small businesses. Um, a lot of people are in lockdown and that as well, or their financial situations have changed because of the pandemic. So if you know a small business, support them. You'll be giving them the biggest hug. Um, so thank you guys and feel free to check out all the details in the description box below. And I look forward to sharing video, more videos with you guys soon. I just really wanted to jump on here and share the mail I received. And I was really thankful for receiving mail. So thank you so much, guys. See you soon. Let me know if you enjoyed the unboxing. Um, bye for now. Bye.